the Spider-Man movie home was released two months ago and lately everybody has been watching it. So here's the problem, I'm not Spider-Man but I'd spend all of my money buying this one micro. The only logical solution is to make my own version of Spider-Man but we are going to do it in a day because I like to suffer. <laughs> So let's start off by creating a new Unity project. Okay, let me see. Spider-Man, no way home. Hold up, cowboy. Marvel is gonna sue you for that. A tarantula man, definitely not Spider-Man. So pretty much like any game you've ever seen, the movement is the key base of any game. So let's create a third-person controller. So before I start coding, we need a new keyboard because my current one sucks. Okay, enough, enough of that. Let's make the movement. It's working. Uh, it's, it's not working. And that's a lot of errors. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem, I guess. Seeing that I'm too dumb to make this on my own, I quickly found a great tutorial by Brackies. But however, it left me in the bag of errors. But I quickly realized that it's either outdated or I'm a dumbass. Now as I came to think of it, that's probably why. Then I set up a list of all the things I need to do. So after these incidents, my brain was like, what the f***, it's genius, you actually have motivation. Nah dog, we cannot have that. Now that I've started all over again, I have to think of another way to create a third person controller. But as I had no motivation and was definitely thinking of giving up the challenge, I began to watch YouTube. And guess what? By randomly watching one of my favorite scenes of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, I literally found a free working project made by Levi's Pfeiffer. Uh, or that's how that's pronounced, I think. Now, even if the project was made in Unity, I literally could not have joined it because that would be illegal while doing a challenge, but the project was made in Unreal and I just happened to have Unreal on my PC. So I downloaded the game for testing and my god it was so good. Literally I would have taken an entire month to create movement like that. Of course it was by no means complete and hardly had a map but I didn't care. But playing that project actually made motivation available to me again and I started a world group. But this time, I actually started by creating a first person movement because literally, I couldn't make a proper third person game. 6 hours have passed already and we gotta go fast. I started by creating a bean which will represent our player. A bean's a cool and all but you know what's better than a static bean? A moving bean. <laughs> so now we have the most terrifying bean in the world. We only need some extra movement like who shot and left swing. The web swing was highly inspired by Danny's grappling gun script. And when I say inspired, I mean it is Dra Danny's script. Whoops! The hookshot, however, ended up being kinda messed and suddenly I had a blackout. And when I woke up, I found that things were working pretty fine. Here's the hookshot script, but I cannot explain it because I literally don't know how it works. Now, 16 hours remaining, I begin to get really depressed because my exams are coming up, and if I don't finish this game in 8 hours, I will be kinda of tragic side. So the math was looking pretty empty, because it is completely and utterly empty. Thanks for the nice skyscrapers, Sketchify and very cool. So now using the buildings which we got from Sketchify, we can start creating models and other cool stuff. So first I made roads, and I placed buildings everywhere. I wanted to create a traffic system, and I found out a tutorial on the same thing on YouTube. But the tutorial was pretty long, and I wanna finish this game before it gets too late. So car system can be forced for the last update. So I made a Statue of Liberty in the middle of the map and it's, of course it was from Sketchfab and the textures were from Ambient CG. Now the map is like pretty much done, alright? And I'm now managed to delete the entire thing and I don't have it anymore. 
perhaps I should have literally followed that as advice. A pro tip to all of you game devs out there, don't be an idiot like me, just don't be like me at all and you're probably fine. And never mind the new maps looks much better than the old one. Now we can have, we can make the game look much better by adding post processing. So I did a little bit magic and smashed my keyboard a bit and boom it's already finished. Or, or probably not. And after wasting 30 minutes, I just, uh, I fixed it just to real realize that my camera didn't have a post processing there. F*** me, am I right gamers? And so when I finished the post processing and all of the rest of the fixing of the uh, spider web movement and other things, I realized that only 2 hours were remaining to finish the game. Now I actually began to panic and started creating menus and other things. The menu and the designing took the rest of one and a half hours now as, as there was literally no time to left to create a proper enemy I came with the most brilliant most obvious idea the entire humanity has ever seen Tarantula man's job is to find spider because spider man literally drank all the science books of the library and now dancing like a managan and plays in the city and the monsters have, have been attacking the city and the city is pretty empty and so you have to find Spider-Man, I don't know who's Spider-Man gonna protect, but I don't care. The model is provided by Sketchfab and animations are by Mixamo. Now designing a win, resume, lose menu might, and sound effects might take too long, so I literally published the thing as it is. But hey, if I get time, I will literally add a goblin, bombs, traffic system, and much more. We'll also fix the game if we have time, but we'll do it in March because, as I said, before my exams, uh, I'm starting and we'll finish only in the start of mid-march or somewhere near. I might make a few shots too, but I don't have anything planned. But hey, if we can get 500 subs before we return, we will get a brand new community tab from YouTube as well as the custom URL. Also, did I mention to you that you can totally subscribe? And also, if this video gets more than 500 subscribers, I will literally start a horror game devlog series. But till that, I will be making FPS devlogs much like Colson. So anyways, that's enough for this video, I will literally spend the rest of the day editing this video. As for the game, it's absolutely free but we might use some donations. Except the fact that no one will donate, of course. But if you don't wanna support me, just boost the server on Discord. So enough of this, enough of that, let's actually finish this video. Also I'm totally aware of the fact that this video is meant like Danny's. <sighs> but that's how the way it is. Uh, because I literally don't have any ideas. So instead of reminding me that I'm a Danny clone, just comment down below how I can improve so I won't be called Danny clone. Also suggest me some good non copyrighted music channel so I can get some more music because most of the music which I use is out of context sensitive and you know man. Anyways follow me on my socials because I need a community or on my channel will be as empty as my Among Us lobby. Also make sure to subscribe for more clone I mean exchange original videos and we'll meet you once again next month if I manage to survive the exams. Also don't know whether I passed or not, just go to Twitter. I'll not be able to join Bracky's game jam because of the same examinations. But we'll do pretty nonstick of the game in seven days when exams are over. So just like always, smash to smash, hit the head, is gone to scroll and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for wasting your time. Thank you.